All right, guys. <coughs> Get the monitor up. I think we're about ready to go. I just got to get the monitor up and we're ready to go. Sure. So I'm going to share this on my channel only. And I'll put it up on the other channels. So I'll share it later after I, <laughs> if I make it through. All right, let's see. All right, let me see. Let me get everything just about where I can get it. As good as I can for you. All right. Okay, so we got a dry canvas here. Uh, usually, you would normally it's got uh, three coats of gesso on it. It's got a chalked-in uh, version of this little girl. And hopefully, I didn't miss anything as I'm going. So we're going to change the entire background from what they have, um, pretty much. But let's uh, let's get to it. So let's start off. I'll start off with a bristle brush, and we're gonna we're not gonna usually I would normally add a medium to this. Today we're not gonna do that. We're gonna work we're gonna work flat. So let's uh, let's work on that. So we got some cad yellow here. Now, so I've got about this much cad yellow on my brush, but I'm gonna wipe most of that paint off of there. If you're there, say hello so I can at least know somebody can hear me. All right, so let's get started. Well, let me make sure somebody can hear me first. Can you guys hear me? Sound check, sound check. Oh, there's nobody on the channel but me. Oh well, okay, well, let me get started. All right, so we've wiped out most of the paint out of this brush, and this is the way we're gonna work today. We're gonna be using really, really, really small amounts of paint. Hey, Marilyn. All right. So we got some just cad yellow. I'm gonna start scrubbing this in. On this. We've done a, we've done several in this series, a couple in this series, which all of them have been sold. Um, so I want to change it up just a little bit today. We're gonna try some different techniques. One of my reasons to paint is to learn stuff. So yeah, we might, who knows? We might blow this up before we're done. We don't know. All right, so I'm going to use a little elbow grease here. Instead of applying a medium, I'm just going to apply this with this, scrubbing this in. Yep, I'm going to do my mixing on the canvas today. I sure am. Well, I don't know if I'm going to do my mixing. I'm going to do my blending. I'm going to do all my blending on the canvas today. Kind of using it. You also uh, this time the today for the most part you'll see me using this overhand grip instead of like this grip, which is what I usually use. So I'm just kind of wiping the paint back off on the palette over here. Try to keep the I want to get a really really thin coat of this yellow. You guys just ask questions as you go, and I'll look over it every so often. Sometimes I'll get consumed in what I'm doing and, and I'll look I won't answer for a little bit but I will answer and uh, Emily Jean's on too so if, if you know, she knows the answer she'll tell you she, she's my bestest buddy so she uh, she can tell you most of the things that I'm most of the things I'm doing all right that's coming along pretty good we're just working tiny bits of paint at a time. We'd rather, I'd rather have less paint on there than more paint uh, as I'm going through this. So it's going to be a very sunshiny day when we're done. So for those of you just joining, we've got three coats of gesso on this. We got a chalk drawing. We just got to fix it over the top of it. Only one layer of fix it though. If you use too much fix it, we put in several coats of fix it. Um, it'll keep your oil from, from getting onto the ground. It won't it won't anchor into the ground very well. So you don't want to put too much fix it on there. But you need to put it up on so it does its one coat usually good. Just don't want to smear your drawing. At least not too much. My favorite paint. I don't have a really have a favorite paint. Um, I, I use a, I use a bunch of different kinds of paint. 
I use uh, Bob Ross paints. I use, uh, I'm using, this is Cad Yellow from Bob Ross, but um, I also have some Grumbacher paint. I've got some Gambling paint. You know, I, I kind of use what's on sale. <laughs> and, uh, but, so I don't really have a, too much of a preference. Too much. Yeah, just a just a touch of uh, leather and crimson on this corner. Because we're gonna vignette this, this this little girl. We're gonna go right. We're gonna we're gonna take this cad right onto the this cad yellow right onto the entire canvas here. This is one of the reasons these these paintings take so long. Why I charge so much for them? So take a lot of time. But this will pay off. You'll see how, how well this pays off here in a little while. If you stick with me. Hey, Jonathan. What's up, buddy? As you can see I'm kind of moving around around the canvas, different spots. Sometimes I'm picking up paint from one spot and stealing it, putting it somewhere else. Um. You know, normally, if you were watching me and I was doing a landscape, I would, to cover a big area like this, I would just use a one-inch brush, but, um, or two-inch brush. You don't want to do that, because you're going to pick up too much paint. And for this, for this type of a painting, that's not, not what you're looking for. You want less paint, not more. So, and once you got it on there, it's a little hard to get off. You can hear I'm scrubbing it pretty good. My bristle brush is getting to work out. This is a number, what is this, number eight, six, number six filbert. Now I got a little too much paint right there, that's okay. I'll show you how we're going to fix that in a minute. Most all this area is going to be uh, insinuated into the painting, so it's not going to be. So Facebook has decided to do something really cool. They decided now when you're monitoring that they're going to pop the comments up and then erase them so it don't see. Uh, you can order Bob Ross paint from BobRoss.com. Matter of fact, the new paint is in. Um, it's actually made in Britain. Uh, this is this is the original Bob Ross paint. I got, I have a lot of tubes of this, but um, this is the new one. This is the new. It's in metal tubes, and uh, it's it's really pretty good. Well, is it rough on brushes? Not really. I mean, I don't know what you mean. Like you mean like wearing them out? Is, is that what you mean? I mean. These, these bristle brushes are made for scrubbing, so, you know, it's not, no, it's not really, it's not hard on your brushes. I mean, if you're painting a, a lot, you're going to wear your brushes out eventually, but as long as, I think it's worse to leave painting them or something, rather than so much about scrubbing them. I mean, you can scrub them down. Now, this is my 300th and some odd painting, so I, I haven't, let me push I got, I don't know, I have quite a few brushes, but I don't think I've probably worn out half a dozen, maybe, in, in three years. This is my fourth year, started my fourth year painting in May. All right. All right, so working down pretty good, working down pretty good. This takes a while. Now, if you put this on uh, Belgian linen, uh, this part would probably go faster. Because just because it's smoother, Belgian linen is smoother than, than this canvas. It's also more expensive. Uh, so I think what we'll do here, we'll paint for a while, and then we'll take a break. Because this is usually about four to five hours in the chair, so. Nobody wants to watch a video that long. I don't want to make one that long. <laughs> we'll do part one, part two. Part 
three, part four, however many hours it takes, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. We never tried this, this particular thing before. So. Hmm. All of this, this little work right here at the beginning is going to really pay off in a little while. You'll see, you'll see. So we're scrubbing it in sort of every direction we can. We want to make sure that we get it all in through the weave, you know, all up in this way and that way and this way and that way. Alright, we're going to go right over her hair, right over her dress. Right over her skin. It's not necessarily trying to make it all one tone. It's not really all that important. Uh, there'll be some gaps. You know, there might be some open gaps that look like they're a little more narrow. You guys should be able to see that on the video. But, um, I don't know how long you watch the videos. You go through filbert brushes. I, I, I like using filbert brushes a lot. Um, I'm, I'm starting to use them more and more in my landscapes. But um, this particular painting doesn't require a lot of filbert work. It'll be a lot of detail brushing stuff here in a little while once we get down to that part. We can get around to working on the gal. You crack me up. <laughs> All right. Now you can see, though, as we're scrubbing this paint over, that because we had that fix it on there, it's not it's not uh, smearing it all over the place. So that's good. That's a good thing. I'm just kind of keep wiping this off on the palette. I'll show you my palette here in a minute. See here, I went, to, went, went, that old, went with that underhanded uh, grip there for a bit and didn't work with it. Squat. It's habit because that's the way I usually paint. But. All right, getting down toward the end of this part. Now, one of the reasons this is really important is that. You don't want if you go back and look at the other two paintings, Summer Reed and and they're in my they're in my file directory and on my fine arts page you can see them. The uh, you'll notice there's no halo around this girl. There's no sometimes you know when you're painting detail you tend to paint and, and leave a space between the girl and the or no, the subject and the, the background and the, it leaves a like a, an unpainted halo sort of kinda. That's not that's not what I'm looking for. I don't want that. So even when we start painting the grass on, we'll let me go over onto this girl. And I'll show you how to take care of that in a little while. Everything's going to happen in a little while. Everything in its own time. I don't really think too much about wearing out paintbrushes when you think of it. I, I probably have more paintbrushes than I need. But, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just not something I consider, really. I mean, I take care of my brushes, so I keep them clean, I keep them conditioned. But, um, it never, never bothers me too much about scrubbing them off. All right. Now, now we're gonna now we're gonna switch to a one-inch brush for a little bit. Let me open my, me open my brush cleaner. Let's clean this brush now, and we'll switch to the one-inch brush for just a second. I'll check up any questions. Hey, Billy. No, Emily, Emily Jean is the acrylic painter. Little painter girl. She's on here with us. She can tell you. 
she, I mean, she's, she's a master at it, so she'll say she's not, but she is. Don't listen to her about not being a master. She is. All right, so we're going to take a one-inch brush, bristle brush. Find one I like that's kind of soft. Softer than others, maybe. That's okay. They're all pretty okay, but... Now, brushes, I do have a preference. This is a one-inch bristle brush. It's made by Kevin Hill. I really like Kevin Hill's brushes. All right, so now we're going to take this brush and we're just going to blend all this together. So now where we have an even spots, we're just going to push all that paint around. We're going to steal paint from the thicker spots to the least thicker spots. We're going to make sure we get it all down inside that weed of that canvas. Going this way and that way. So we're spinning one way for a little while and we're switching the other one back the other way. See if there's any spots that we can't cover. We'll even switch hands just to make sure that we. Yeah, if you go in a circle, you can go. Up and down, or left and right, whatever turns you on, however you want to do it, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. I'm just kind of blending the paint. I think I need a little bit more paint across this bottom part. I need some more paint. I can't paint without paint. I'm using such small amounts of paint um, that I'm not... I don't have a whole lot out on my palette, so hang on. We're just using little daubs of paint. Alright. Let's put a little bit more paint, like right there. I think I'm just paint though. There we go. We're gonna vignette this part down here off the bottom, but I still want paint on it. Alright. Let's switch back to the one inch brush for now. Say, this is a lot more work than just throwing some medium on there but you're going to see by the time we get done if we had put a medium on here we would have never gotten all these layers of paint to stick we just it just wouldn't have happened all right okay so let's clean the brushes we'll move on to the next phase so my last three paintings Summer Read, Consumed, and Summer Picnic, all, all sold within a couple days of each other. So I was really, I was really happy about that. Kind of looking at this pic, I'm just looking at the painting. All right, we're going to do this painting, the background, a lot different than the, than the uh, reference photo. So. Mostly out of the reference photo, all we're taking is the, the girl herself. So, in these books, in this app. All right, let's take a paper towel, just to make sure, just to make sure we don't, we have the thinnest amount of paint we can work with. We're just gonna take a paper towel. We're just gonna rub this paint off of it. But you can see it's taking a pretty good bit off each time. So, all right, we're ready to get to work. Where shall we start? Let's take a detail brush. I'll tell you what, let, let's take a drink first. Let's stop. Let's pause. Any questions at this point? Let me go back and look at the comments. There's no comments. There they are. <laughs> Master mess maker. Mm -hmm. May have the rest of the world fooled. Not me. All right, let's see. Let's get the. Uh, let me find a detail brush I like. <laughs> this has been interesting for me. These paintings because I don't. I don't do a lot of detail paint 
paintings. Detailed paint paintings. Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, let's start off with this brush. So what is this? It's a little old Craft Smart brush. Oh, you know what? I think I'll use this one instead. This is a Windsor & Newton detail brush. We'll put this fan brush away. I'll use it in a little while. I'll use this one instead. So this is a Windsor & Newton detail brush. to give you an idea about how small it is. It's pretty small. But I'm going to use it for a couple different things. Let's get some dark sienna. And what else we might need? I'm going to probably use some little crust and some sap green. Do I have sap green out there? I got outline stuff. Okay. All right. So again, we're going to use little tiny pieces of paint. Okay, let's start. Let's start laying some tree branches in. So I'm going to turn this around and suit me. All right. I'm sorry if you guys are looking at this upside down, but that's the way it goes. I don't need to spend a lot of time on this, this part, but I do want to give myself some, some reference points. Just the tree branches here. I'm still, yeah, Bob, Bob love to beat the devil out of the brushes. I still do that. Even my little detail brushes. I want to paint with the chiseled edge of this brush. These branches are not going to be showing very much, but you know, it just gives you as a reference point to work on. And start putting the leaves and stuff in. Yeah, I'm trying to, the reason I'm rubbing it off is to make it as thin a coat as possible on the canvas because I'm going to put all these different layers. This is wet on wet now, so, you know, you're going to keep your paint thin. Thin paint sticks to a thick paint and vice versa. So, when you get to about, when you get to about the eighth layer of paint, we're going to be really, really glad we didn't put too much paint on here. I just need a couple more in here, I think. Alright, this part here will eventually be a tree limb. So let's just kind of sketch that in there real quick. That'll get, us, that'll get us started, I think. Good enough. Let's clean this brush. I'll switch over to some leather and crimson. It stayed the same brush, I think. 
thought of losing crimson though. Just get it, and again, just a real thin layer of paint. And I want to kind of mark out my horizon line so I don't lose it. We're going to paint over that, but that'll just give us a place to start. All right. Now. Let's start. Let's start off with some, let's start off a little bit of cerulean blue, I think. Let's start, let's put a little bit of sky in here with this, and then we'll start putting some leaves in and stuff. Being really kind of loose with this. Now here's a here's a pretty good point I'd like to make here. If you have not kept your paint thin, when you start applying this cerulean blue, if you don't think you've got your paint thin enough, it might be a good idea to start off with the lizard and crimson on this. I started to do that, but I think I've got it. And the reason I, I'll tell you that when I start putting the lizard and crimson on in a second here. Okay, anybody would hazard a guess why you want to put a lizard might want to put a lizard crimson on here if the paint's not thin enough? I'll tell you why in a minute, but Okay, now back to a lizard crimson. Nobody wants to hazard a guess? <laughs> reason that you don't is because if you, if you got too much paint on here and you start folding this in this blue on this yellow where's that going to bring you to what colors are going to bring you to green right you're going to have green in the sky instead of blue and that's okay if you do you do it's not a big deal but still it's a way around it wipe my brush off. I'm not going to clean it. I'm just going to brush it off slightly. Just kind of putting this in loosely too, just like the blue. You don't want to overthink this too much, because you can, it's easy to do. Alright. Green, that's right, green, green sky. More people think there's a tornado coming. I'm just going to take a fan brush and clean, clean this little detail brush off for the moment. Let's take a fan brush. Just kind of lightly, 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 lightly soften this.
push all that color back in the background. Start putting our leaves in. Now this stroke is kind of hard to explain. This is a small brush. It's a small brush. It is a, a number two. So it's small. But we're gonna use this to put all the leaves in because it, it makes a really nice stroke if you take your time. This takes a little while. So uh, if you have something you want to go make yourself a sandwich and come back. All right. So we're not gonna. We're just going to use the tip edge of this brush. We're going to leave, hit it, tap it right on the corner. We're going to use this throughout. We're not going to follow, just follow all the leaves and branches. We're just going to kind of use those as a guidance. We're going to kind of let that paint kind of run out as it wants to. We will eventually turn this painting right side up again. This is just easier for me. You'll see me moving around from one branch to the next without, you know, filling it up the... Oh, contaminated my brush. Time, time out. Okay, here we go. Overthinking is, is easy to do. But if you don't overthink it, you'll be really, really happy with yourself. Let me see. I want to try. I want to try a different brush on this too sometime. Is this the one? No, that's not the one. Was it? There was a different brush I was thinking about using for this part. For this part. Yeah, I think this is the one. Let's try this one too. This will just make some of the leaves a little different. In some cases, we're tapping right into that blue and red. And that's okay because so we're just kind of showing letting the sunshine shine through a little bit Now you can adjust this as you go. You might decide you want a little bit more of something, you know, a little more red in there, a little more rose color. I think since we're going to vignette this, we're going to darken this color, color, the corner up a little bit. Put a, little, a few more leaves in here than usual than we have down there. Da 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 da. So we're kind of using those shadowed areas as our kind of places to put leaves or not put leaves. In a second, I'll turn this over so you can see how it's coming out. And that'll help you visualize it if you can't visualize it. We're just kind of letting the brush run out so we got different, different little layers of leaves here and there. Let me flip this over so you guys can see. See how that's coming out? Yeah. Alright. It's just upside down for ease for my ease of my use. Yeah, they're kind of like little commons. They sort of are. Little splotches of paint. Little curvy leaves. We're gonna add some other colors in here in a minute. I'm 
<laughs> All right, just bring them kind of like drape down here around her shoulder. Give her a little shade while she's reading here. Kind of reminds me of this this uh, woman I know who's reading my uh, book in Virginia. It's taken her forever <laughs> to read it. She's spending the summer reading it. I just know it. All right, here we go. Let's get around that shaded area a little bit more. If you don't know, if it's your first few times of being with me, I'm, I'm a published novelist. I have 14 novels and three more about to come out. I'm a retired computer geek. military yeah you don't want to think this too bad if you try to think this in like you'll, you'll, you'll stymie yourself so don't don't do that too much don't try to overthink it so you notice the leaves are kind of curving just a little bit in like toward her here and that's because they're just kind of Pulls well, visually pulls the people into your into your painting. We'll put some, a little bit more blue and stuff in here in a minute. You don't necessarily have to have branches where you have leaves. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you're wondering, did I just get that on her hat? The answer that's yes. I kind of wanted to do that to keep from having a halo around her hat. So we'll come back and do some more with that in a minute, in a little while. All right, let's work out from this corner. The right-hand side of the canvas is hardest for me because I'm left-handed. So sometimes I just move it just like I turn it upside down. Actually, turning it upside down too also allows me to work a little more freely because I'm, I'm not trying to work something into a shape because it's kind of more upside down. It's too upside down for me to conceptualize. All right. Almost done with the laying in this little green part. Let's clean the brush off. Let's actually, let's just completely clean it out this time. Check questions. None. Okay. Let's take some cerulean blue, a little bit of titanium white, mix up a little bit of a lighter blue. Let's kind of dash some of that in here in different spots. Add some more color, just add a little more interest to the painting. Cerulean blue, it doesn't matter, you don't have to use cerulean. If you have a different color, just use that, it doesn't matter. And of course, the more you tap it, the softer it's going to get. You want to keep all this. This is really soft, really soft, soft romantic painting. So you want to kind of try to keep everything soft, 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 soft. All right. Okay, well now let me turn it over and take a look. All right. Let's just add a little bit more, a little, little, little bit more of this blue. Yeah. 
I'm just kind of bluing it to fit. There's no right or wrong here. At least I don't think there is. All right, let's just clean the brush off again. Check for questions. All right, let's go with some yellow, some cad yellow again, and some titanium white. Make a light, really light yellow. Let's just like, all right, the sunlight's kind of on this side, so let's just kind of add some, some lighter tones right in here around her. Let's turn the brush over when it gets dirty, wipe it off when it's contaminated. actually put some texture in here if you want. It's a good place to put some. All right, then we'll put just a little bit on the other side. It's a little more in the shadow, but you can, can still pick up some stuff through the light there. All right. Okay. Set that brush aside for a while. Clean this other little detail brush up. So as you can see, I'll show you here in a second, from the reference painting, the background is completely different. So, all right, let's take and let's make some Let's get a little bit of Van Dyke of Burnt Umber put on the palette. Might need that for that little rock right there. So let's just kind of... All right, let's put, the, let's put some grass in first, and then we'll go back and do that rock. So let's get... A flat brush. So I'm going to use a, what is this, the number eight flat brush, flat bristle brush. We'll put some green on it, some sap green. Now, we're going to wiggle this brush as we're loading it so that we kind of chisel it on the edge. And I hope you can see that it's kind of, how it's kind of chiseled to the edge. And instead of, of kind of going in like this, trying to paint some grass in, we're going to go in like this, right? We're just going to kind of Lightly kind of so we're kind of tapping it and smoothing it at the same time. Little tiny bits of paint. Little tiny bits of paint. We'll go up here on our arm a little bit. Like I say, we don't want to put a halo in here, right? So we paint right up onto her. And so it's just so you don't get nervous about that, let me show you what we're going to do about that. So you can see we've got some paint on the arm. And it's, not a, it's just not a big deal when you're dealing with oil paint. So we'll take a Q-tip. And we just take it and just wipe it off. So now you don't have, have to deal with it in that spot. I'll take it off her hat while we're at it. All right, there we go. Paint it and forget it. All right, let's do this side. I'm going to paint up into those trees, the tree line a little bit. And this side's going to be just a tad darker. So we're just adding a little bit more paint. And it's only this side because this is the shady side. Alright. So I'm going to take that. I don't want it to be too candy colored. So let's just kind of add a little bit of a 
sienna to that. So let's talk about adding, adding colors, adding colors, adding colors. Let's just get them. Mm -hmm. Get grass all the way in, all the way in around this apple. All right. All right, now we're going to start adding it's a little bit more texture. So let's go back to sap green. And now we're just going to kind of tap this a little bit as we move up here closer to her. We'll just pull it up a little bit like this. Yeah. Here we go. You see this technique a lot in the summer picnic painting that I did. All right. A little shorter grass again. And we're going to kind of bring this down so at this end. We're going to soften it on both sides in a minute, but so let's do this side again. Let's work on this side again. So we got um, sap green and burnt umber mixed on the brush. And let's put a couple of taps. And pull it up into some grass like that. Her hand is actually in the grass, so we'll come back and touch up some of this in a little while. But let's put some in there around her hand for right now. And we'll come back and running out of paint. Running out of paint. Wow. I thought there'd be a lot of questions. <laughs> oh well. We'll just kind of be loose down here. And we're going to want some shadow like right here under her leg. Where this book is. Now, let's soften it. Now, you can use a mop. Uh, if you watch Marion Dutton's videos, she uses a mop a lot. And I have one. Um, mine's not as fancy as her. She's got a fancy one. I have this little bitty one. And we'll just go in here and push all this back. We'll just soften it. Three hairs and some air here. Even the texture stuff. I'm gonna soften it, soften it. Get rid of all those brush strokes. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Can you see how that's pushing that back? Are you guys able to see that on the video? Another thing I put in this painting that I haven't had in other paintings is I wanted to paint a rock with a brush. 
<sighs> haven't done that a lot. So let's, uh, we're going to paint this rock in back here. So let's get, this rock is partially in shade and partially not. So we're going to use, let's start off with our dark tone. Start off with some midnight brown. Got way too much paint. Just need a tiny little bit of paint here. Block that in. Blocking in some color here. All right, let's take some sienna. Lighten it just a little bit on this side. Now, let's wipe the brush out. Do I have? No. Let's get some yellow ochre. <laughs> I'm down to three people. I tell y'all, this is a long video. Oh, we're just getting started. Oh, my Lord. I was, I was afraid. People, I know what people ask for, but yeah. You gotta be careful what you ask for. All right, so, all right. Let's go. And let's add some white. Let's add a little bit of cad yellow to that. Let's try that. Let's add a little bit too many, too much dark out of there. where I can do this. Okay, time to work on the girl. So, we took with this young lady. Just to come up with skin tone out of three different, just using primary colors. We don't want to build a flesh tone at all that way. So let's start off with, let's start off with the mid-tones. I'll tell you what though, I want to soften this rock just a little bit. I'll push that rock back too. Come out. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Pull that some of that color into the shadow. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm happy to work that. Now make sure you clean your brushes out and you get them nice and dry though. All right, so we're gonna get into this get into the skin tones first. So let's do that. So let's talk about what we got to do. We got, I'm trying to show you on this reference photo. We have a shadow in her arm all the way down here and then it's in the sunlight just a little bit. And then we've got some sunlight on her fingers and some shadow, deeper shadows up this way. And some shadows in between her toes, darker still her foot. We need to add a little bit of shadow into the darkness right there. We got some sunlight hitting on her leg right there. And the grass is up around her knee a little bit. So 
and grabs over her hand, but we've got a shadow running down her arm. This arm's in shadow, with a little bit of highlight right here in the middle. So let's start. Let's start by just trimming up the paint a little bit. So we'll start off with this. It's got a Q-tip. I'm just going to clean that oil painting out. Clean that oil out right there from her arm. There we go. You don't have to get it all. You don't have to get it all. We'll paint over it. Get that toe back out where I can see it. There we go. All right. So let's get some. Let's start with some. Let's start with some Elysium Crimson. And we just need a tiny little bit of paint on the brush. Checking for questions. No more questions. Okay. We're just checking. Make sure there's no questions. All right. So we've got. Some shadow running down the side of the arm. And then going all the way out to the pencil line. Like this. And then we've got um, some shadows under the sleeves. shadow right there. Now that shadow is kind of... Alright. You got some shadow here in between your fingers. Those two that we can see. And then one right here where her thumb is. And on the fingers over here. And along his arm. A little bit more under here. Not going all the way to the line because there's it's going to be some highlights along that side, so you gotta gotta make sure you make still have room for those. All right, in between the toes here, and right here. Bend in her leg, and there's some shadow around this way. All right, so that's a good start. You know, you guys are thinking, how hey, in. Holy crap, is he going to get a skin tone out of that? Just stay with me. Stay with me, sports fans. All right, we're going to clean this brush out. I'm going to set that aside for a minute and get out my fan brush. I don't think I really want this one, though. I think I want a smaller one for this. So let me clean this one before I forget to clean it. Always treat your brushes kindly and they will treat you kindly. All right, I'm gonna use this fan brush. This is a number three Bob Ross fan brush, brand spanking new, nice and soft and frilly. All right, so what we're gonna do, 
we're going to, we're not going to X stroke kind of blend this. We're going to blend it, but we're going to, you're not going to be able to, I don't know what you're going to be able to see, but um, we're going to kind of bring this brush across the line. We've got yellow on one side of the shadow, and we've got yellow on the other side of the shadow. So we're going to walk all three of those colors, those two yellows and this red together. We're just going to blend them together. So we're kind of half into one and half in the other. Let's change the brush over because it's getting kind of full of paint. Just soften all this up. darken some of those a little bit. So we're going to go to the Cerulean Blue. Slow one of my brushes across the firmament here. Okay, wipe all the paint out of this brush just a bit. But you can see it's got Cerulean Blue in it. We're going to darken some of these shadows. I'm going to darken this shadow right here. Applying this color to all these dark shadow, darker shadows, areas. And that goes down the inside near her hair. I would imagine underneath her arm, yeah. Okay. Well, she's got a highlight on her foot over there, so I'm going to get that color goes on. I have to lighten the color back up over there. All right. Now, let's see. So I'm going to change that color. That shadow is in the wrong spot. So I need to keep it. That's the wrong shadow. Or this gets a highlight. All right, let's get, use a fan brush. I think I'll just use this mop. So we put the mid tone and the dark tones. Oh, you know what? Still need some darker tones on that side. Okay, let's go back and do that. Too much paint. Okay. All right. 
It's coming together pretty good. All right. Let's blend this together just a little bit more. Blend this. Then we get a darker highlight. Now, okay, let's do let's do let's do some highlighting now. So I'm just going to go to titanium white and a little bit of yellow. Now, let's see, let's highlight let's highlight his foot first. Now she's got a little bit of a toenail showing right there. Two of them actually. So we're just gonna make a little bloop and a bloop. Insinuate that toenail in there. And she's got a little bit of highlight on her top of her foot right here. I'm using such a little bit of paint, I have to keep going back so to my palette. All right, let's see, let's bring There's a little bit of highlight, like right here. On her hand. There we go. Down the finger. Side of his other finger. You got to work with tiniest amounts of paint on these guys, on this young lady. There we go. How's that look from your all side? I can't. I'm going to have to get up and back up and take a look in a second. There's not much highlight on this other hand. There's a slight, tiny, 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 tiny highlight. Like, right along in here. Let's get this fingernail on his other hand. All right, now this highlight right here looks a little too bright to me, so we're going to take that down a notch. How's it 
Okay, let's do... Let's do the book. So, let's see. Let's do the pages. A little different than the other book that I did because the other book wasn't actually showing too many pages. But let's get the, the binding of the book in first. Lighten that color up a little bit to make the edge pages. Yeah, it's easy cleaner than that. Did I lose everybody? Everybody gone? Can't see anybody anymore. Almost white. This part. All right, then there's some shadow. Let's put that in. It's actually more of a brightening than a shadow. All right, and let's just put a few that are looking like. Didn't really do it. Try it again. There you go. How's that, guys? You there, Emily? How's it looking? I can't tell. I can't really tell. Darken this just a tad, just a tad. All right, let's do her dress. Let's mix up some blues and crimson, some titanium white, and more titanium white. Yeah, and so you can see this makes kind of a nice pink color, but it's it's a little candy, a little too candy color. So we're just add a little bit of, of um, sienna to that just to make it. A little less show offy, show off. All right, so let me clean the brush out. I'm gonna let mix that up. All right, let's start putting this. Start putting her dress in. We don't have to put it all in, you know. We want some of that light to shine through. Her 
hair is going to be in that a lot of that area. That's okay. We'll fix it in a second. Ooh, on we go, on we go. So mix just a little bit of blue with that. All right. Okay, now let's put some creases in there. So I don't need to clean my brush, but I do need to wipe it out. So let me just wipe it out real quick. All right. I'm gonna go back straight. I'm gonna go straight to alizarin crimson for this. I'm gonna kind of, except we don't need that much. Ooh, gosh almighty. The lizard comes in there. Paint two paintings. All right. <laughs> Bob Ross. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it if Bob Ross was watching. All right. So. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's see. That's her hair right there. That's her hair right there. So let's put there's a couple of creases right here. Another crease like around this way. There's a bit like that. Her hair runs down most of that side though. We're just kind of putting this in to create this highlight right here. All right. Just like that. We're just kind of blending this together. Keep darkening her hair. <laughs> All right, oh, gosh, goofball. All right, let's see. This is dark right here. All right, maybe I should go put it. Go ahead and put her hair in so I can keep track of what I'm doing here. All right, there's a belt right here, and then there's like just a few folds in her dress, like. Looks pretty good. Right, let's do her hat. So let's for that. Let's get some uh, titanium white, maybe, and some yellow ochre. Yeah, more yellow ochre than that. I mean, more titanium white than that. Uh, maybe even some more. All right. I mean, that'll probably do. All right, so let's get, let's go ahead and block this in. As you can see, we're still sticking to that small detail brush. as we go here. Alright. There's that color. There it is. The hat looks kind of pinkish, but 
Gehst du still hinzu? Wizard and Crimson in my brush. That's okay. It looks okay. Alright. Now, let me make sure I cover up those pencil lines. So let me hang on a second. Touch it up a little bit closer. Now, let's put some shadows in there. Let's get the mid-tone in. Let's add just a, add a few shadows. To do that, just add a little bit more of a burnt sienna to uh, that. I need, it to, I need it to be back right side. All right, so we got Okay, now let's put our hat band in. So let's clean the brush just so I can get a sharp, a sharp edge for this. For this, we'll go straight yellow ochre. Yeah, I might, I might change brushes. Let's see. We'll see in a second. Yeah, that's okay. I think I can get it. Now we want to add just a little bit of a use this to put a little bit of a design on the on the hat band. Here we go. go. Alright, let's put our hair in. And then we'll start working on being done. So her hair comes all the way down. Is it on her shoulder? No. Okay. So her hair comes all the way down. Like this. I'm going to try to cover all that pink. Because I want some of the dress to shine through there. Maybe sort of at an angle like this on this side. Alright. Now. Getting close, getting close. I'm missing any questions? No? Okay. I think I'm going to change brushes for this. I was going to do it with a detailed brush, but well, I don't know. I can't decide what brush I want to use. All right, <laughs> let's go to let's see my fallback. I'll, just, I'll go to a smaller filbert. We've got the yellow ochre here. I'm going to just kind of pull this down. That. 
So we're just, we're just holding it flat like this. We're just pulling it down to create the hair to start with. And then we'll do some other things here in a second. All right. Now let's go with cad yellow. And I've run out of white. Gosh darn it. Put a little bit of titanium white back on here. Hang on a second. Sorry, guys. Can't paint without paint. All right. I think I got a little too much highlight in that one spot. I need to clean the brush up. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, let's work on this other. Let's work on this apple. And for that, we're going to need a little bit of a. Mm. Hmm. Let's. I mean, yeah. All right, we got a little bit of fat orange here. I didn't think I had any, but I did. Cat orange. Let's start off and kind of. Block this out a little bit. Maybe it needs to be a little red, more red than that. Stand by the hazards of watching somebody trying to figure out a painting for the first time. <laughs> Let's just let that sit for a second. There's another piece of hair I missed. I'll do it like like that. See the pages of this other book over here. Let me see what their color look like. Yeah, that's probably okay. Oh. All right. Well, that's okay. We can we can still do that. while doing all this with a filbert brush, but <laughs> it works for me right now. All right, here we go. All right, okay, let's see. Let's put a little bit of, there's not one in the picture, but let's put a little bit of a shadow between this apple and this book, this other book. There we go. 
Okay, let's start working on the finish then. Then let's see. Apple's got some yellow in it, around and around. Bit. Oh man, that came out okay. All right, well, let's see. Let's finish a little bit of blending we didn't do earlier. Right here on this arm. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a final look here. All right, need some. Now we can switch back to flat brush. Hang on a second. Let's go to a small flat. No. Let's use this one. No. We <sighs> can we can flat brush if I can't get one I like. Alright. Alright. We want to take and add some shadow, grass shadows, and our toes. In this area. That. And some grass shadows here by the book. Let's just add a little, couple little features right there. A couple little doers and some over here by the fingers. Maybe just out for symmetry. We'll put a little feet out here this way. Near her toes. Uh, maybe a little bit by her knee, like along her leg. Like that. A few around the book. Like that. Alright, let's put a couple back here with this rock. Kind of push that back into the background. Okay, now last but least, not least, let's finish the... In the beginning, we started off with vignetting, and we're going to finish vignetting, so let's do that. Then we'll be done. Pick my fan brush. I don't want this one, though. Where'd that other one go? Oh, yeah, that's the one I said coming across here. Hang on a second. Let me pick it up. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. So let's take all this now and we're going to start pulling it in, pulling it in. Three hairs and some air here. Soften all of this. guys. I think we got ourselves a penny.
I'm gonna do a couple little touch-ups here. Get real quick that I see. Well, it's still fresh in my brain. I'm just gonna touch up right along the edge of this dress, cover up those final pencil marks. A couple little pencil marks left. Blend all that out. Ooh, let's don't do that. There we go. Maybe. Okay. I think that'll do it. Whew. If you stay for the whole thing, you have my undying gratitude. You let me bore you for so long. All right, well, I think that's got it. I think that's got it. I'll sit here and look at it for a minute. I think I want to add a little bit of a like darkness like that. And then maybe some. Alright guys, let's put my signature on here and we'll call it a day. Alright, so let's get out my handy dandy linseed oil. I keep it in an apothecary jar, just to remind me, you should be using caution. Alright. Go. Let me see. Golly. I keep seeing a couple little things I want to do. I'm not going to piddle with this too much, though. But I think I put like a little bit more yellow on this apple. I just want to stick too much. So let's put a little bit of, let's add just a touch, just a touch. Just a touch of linseed oil. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it to take. You know what? I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's put a couple. <laughs> I know I said I was done, right? I already signed it. All right, let's. But I'll tell you what, though. Let's put a couple little bit of uh, little flower things up here. I don't remember this. Some cerulean blue. And maybe some titanium white. Mix up a light color. like that. What do you think? A couple little flowery things on here. They don't have to be perfect because they're in this fold, you know. But just a little something, a little something. Maybe one up here, going around the corner. 
move down here maybe. Alright, there we go. All these little vinyl things, all these little vinyl things. Alright guys and gals, I do appreciate you. I sure do, I sure do. Hope you have you guys are having a great weekend. And we will see you next time. We'll probably do a landscape. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.